let's load our video in our video editing program. And here I'm using Sony Vegas. We're going to pan the video to the point of release and make note of where the tape is on the ball. It's at about 2 o'clock. Then we're going to pan forward exactly 10 frames. And again, make note of where the tape finishes on the ball. It's at about 7 o'clock. So one full rotation equals 12 hours, and 7 to 2 is an additional 7 hours for a total of 19 hours. And you multiply that by 15 to get your rev rate, which in this case would be 285. Next, we're going to create a still capture so that we can determine axis tilt and axis rotation. So let's back the ball up to the point of release and create our still capture. From here, we're going to open that image in our photo editing program. I'm using Photoshop. and I find it easiest to select just the ball and we're going to copy and paste that into the access tilt access rotation overlay image once you have that in there you're going to need to drag the ball layer beneath the overlay and then do a transform to resize the ball holding the shift key while resizing will keep the proportions correct and if you also hold alt it will keep the ball centered and you may need to move it a little bit. So you can see this bowler has 5 degrees of axis tilt and 75 degrees of axis rotation.